I'm working from home today, so I'm kind of taking advantage of the fact that nobody else is at home. So I thought I'd record in the comfort of my own home. <laughs> I didn't record any of last week. It was quite, it was quite a full on week and I'm actually quite upset that I didn't film anything because it was actually like really nice and it, was, it would have been good to look back on. It was quite heavy in the terms of work. Not that that's really relevant. It was just a lot of training courses. And then towards the end of the week, I had an event to go to as I previously wrote some award submissions for another company. So yeah, me and my boyfriend went to that. It was in Leicester and it was a black tie event and it was absolutely gorgeous. Wore a nice little mesh black dress and it's honestly one of my favourite purchases I've made to this day. But yeah, we took advantage of the, it was essentially a free bar. I had quite a few Proseccos to celebrate as I actually won two out of three and it was a really proud moment of, for me personally as I'd never wrote something on my own like unsupported so getting a result like that for myself for how many I'd wrote it was just a nice end to the week so yeah obviously we'd had a couple of drinks we were a bit tender in the morning but we were actually really lucky because for Christmas my parents bought me and my boyfriend a spa package. So the next day we just went for a massage, we went for a swim, we used the jacuzzi. I think I had a, I had a back massage, a hand and arm and a facial, and I felt like a new woman afterwards. Like I felt fresh. And it was something that I actually really needed after a night like that. But I've also decided that I need to get into swimming because I can't swim properly and we're going on holiday in almost a month so I'm thinking maybe if I kind of prep myself to get a bit more confident with swimming I can use the pool whilst we're on holiday. Other than that we didn't really get up to much else over the weekend we just kind of flopped <laughs> after that. We went and saw a few friends on Sunday, my boyfriend was stupid enough to run a half marathon out of his own free will. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, we just went to the pub afterwards and then we just went and celebrated like my award wins separately to ourselves afterwards. So we just went for dinner and for a few drinks together. And it was actually really nice because we got to just kind of have a little date night out of it and he was like one of the people that i just really wanted to just take myself away with and just celebrate on our own other than that i think there's only been one i say it's a big life change it's not a big life change at all and it's a mini identity crisis for myself because i have had my eyelash extensions taken off and i keep looking into the camera to see like my bold little eyelashes. I'm still getting used to it. It feels really weird. I was saying to my boyfriend, it's really weird because I have contact lenses and since I've been putting them in without having my lash extensions on, it feels, it feels gorgeous. I can rub my eyes. Not that I didn't love my lash extensions because I really did, but I will be getting a lash lift. I'm booked in for a lash lift and tint next week because when I wake up in the morning there are no eyelashes <laughs> I woke up for spin this morning which really silly I used to go to the gym at about 6 45 most mornings before work anyway but today me and my friend decided to go to spin for 6 45 which meant I woke up at 5 30 just so I could wake up a little bit because I'm not really the biggest morning person and I was bored. I was like, I need to put a little bit of something on my face, even though I was gonna sweat it off at spin. And I did, and it killed me. I was meant to have two of the gym classes today, but one was canceled and the other one was another spin class. And I thought, I'm, I'm out spun <laughs> for today. So I'm currently just doing a few training courses. I need to take Pips out on a walk. It's just me and Pips in the house today whilst everyone's out. 
we're gonna go on a little plod but I, I do need to change because I'm not going out in this on a dog walk I didn't really think it through because I get dressed as if I'm going to work just so it keeps me in a routine just a little bit of an outfit running down but I've got a black naked jumper on I think I've just got a white Zara t-shirt on underneath my beige Stradivarius I think they're like I know that they're a baggy style I can't remember what they're called I always buy from there because they're the perfect length for my legs I'm only five foot three five foot two so jeans and trousers can just be way too long on my little legs um, but these are these are actually perfect and every single pair I've ever bought always match perfectly to my body length <laughs> or I'll just wear a bit of a boot with them but there is no way that I'm wearing this on a dog walk so I'm going to finish my tea, finish my course and I don't know whether to have lunch before I take pips or after but I think I might have it before because then I can burn it off on my walk. We're going to go on a bit of a long walk, but it is looking like it is going to chuck it down outside from what I can see. Like there's just a big, big grey cloud, but touch wood, it should be okay. But yeah. <laughs> 